Welcome to the Foul Trouble Podcast. James is out today, so I have the incredible Johnny Carmack and Travis Fukumoto subbing in for James. We are going to be playing Two Hot Takes and a Lie. We are going to do a fast food draft and Mm. wrap it all up with recapping our weeks with Hot Streak Shooting Slump. Let's get into Foul Trouble. How's it going, guys? Going great. I'm good. Thank I'm good. you so much for joining me today. Like I, I was just saying, that was my first. J- James does every <laughs> single episode, the intro. So that was completely uncharted territory for foul trouble. That? How'd you do? Uh, I'd give myself like about like a, a four, a four really? out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. Yeah. Would you rank it higher? Well, well, if James is a ten, what would be yours? You think a four? Yeah, just with that one, I think I could get up to ten, eleven range. If I if oh, I had eleven some range eleven yeah. that's breaking James the scale. Coming for the intro. Um. So today's all about hot takes. Yep. Um. Our audience, tell us, tell our audience just like a little bit about your guys's NBA preferences. Do you guys have a favorite team? Where are you guys sitting with your NBA fandoms? LeBron. <laughs> you got a classic LeBron fan filling in for James, who's a classic LeBron fan. All right, I'm gonna throw a curveball here. Lonzo Ball. What? This guy is a Lonzo Ball truther. And guess what? NBA has been missing out for the last, what, two years? Yeah. Might yeah. be missing out forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he's, he's back. Running. You saw him running? Yeah, he's back until he's not. You saw him running? I Did saw him you running. you see um, LeVar's takes about he he's now out on the Lakers entirely and wants <laughs> all of his boys on the yeah, Clippers? Yeah, I've seen his take on Jello that he's like, yeah, he was on the same team as Lamelo or Alonzo, he'd lead the league in scoring. I'm like, that's insane. I he didn't, can't make a roster right now. I didn't know Lavar was still making takes. Just like <laughs> I think he's he's trying to get back into okay. the uh, swing of things. So that must mean season. Lonzo Ball's coming back. He's coming be. back. That right? or he's trying to get Lamelo off the Hornets or Leangelo back in the NBA somehow. Oh, he was never in the NBA. Sorry. What but. team would he even want them all on? The Clippers. The I Clippers. Yeah. yeah, that's the one he wants. Into a dome. He's a big Balmer fan. Is he? Brand yeah, Balmer big, big Balmer brand. <laughs> is he a big fan of him though? Um, but that's that's just like a little a little taste of hot takes. But we're gonna play a game, two hot takes and a lie, where the three of us are have all prepared some hot takes. Mm-hmm. We are going to pitch them each like we truly believe in them, and then lastly, we will all try to uh, disseminate which was the lie hot take. Um, Johnny, you're one of my favorite hot take smiths that I know. Can you lead us off yes, in, in so, this segment? So I'll start off with um, the Orlando Magic are going to win 55 games this year. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Wait, How did they get whoa, up there? Wait, whoa. What's, 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 what's the... So I'm... Paolo last year had a great year, but it goes oh, under man. the radar. Because of the magic. He was like, sh- low key could have been an all star. They added KCP, which is a good vet piece, and he's a contending team piece. Yeah. So why for would sure. they go out and give the bag to KCP if they don't think they're contending? They're young. Franz is probably going to take another leap this year. Who was low key like really bad for the majority, like for Franz mm-hmm. yes. levels, yes. really bad no. last year yeah. f- for his. Talent level. And they were already in the mid-40s last year. So that was a surprise to me when I was looking this up. I was like, dang, they're already in the mid-40s. Yeah, 47 this- wins last year, which was good for the fifth seed in the okay. East. Yeah, and in my bad. opinion, there's some teams that are not as good as they are. Act- not, they perform better than they actually are in the East last year. So I'm like, oh, they're going to easily get a few games here and there. And just teams are getting older and they're young. So I think that's going to be a really good fit for them. So the Celtics, the Knicks, the Bucks, the Cavs, and the Ma- or uh, the Celtics, Knicks, Bucks, Cavs all had better records than the Magic last year. Who are they jumping Ooh. of that group? Yeah. Uh, um, I think the Knicks aren't sustainable. Oh, really? Okay. I think the. I mean, it's a super role player team. I mean, how long it's can the, you do that for? The big man thing terrifies me for the. The, Knicks. the loss of Hardenstein is huge. The. I don't want to spoil another one of my takes. Okay. Um, and then also, I think they're better. If they were in the West, I think they would be a top three seed in the West. Wow. The, wow. the West is old. I see it. The West yeah. is old. Veterans. Yeah, veterans are old. Whatever you want to call it. Get into a home, buddy. 
Okay, well, that I, I think that was a great start to our uh, hot takeoff. Uh, let's just go one by one, and at the end, we'll all try to figure out which ones were the were the lie takes. So, Travis, okay. I will um, give the floor to you. Yeah. Um, is is this is this really hot take? I'm I'm gonna go with Ronnie James. We'll make the first. Uh, we'll make the list for the first fan uh, vote return for All Stars. Oh, oh yes, one million percent. You, I, I but, so? do you, but do you think like, if he doesn't even play, does he make the list? I think there's a lot of haters. See, but uh, this is why I think this is why I think he's doing it is because I've seen some guys make the list on the Lakers that have no business ever being there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I mean it's the Zaza Pachulia effect. Yes. As well. So, and but Good job, Pachulia. I think even with no stats, I think. I don't know. I just, I just I really. I more haters than lovers. You think so? You really? Oh yeah. Because people already don't like LeBron, so why would they vote for his son? You really don't think this is on the table right here? I think he'll. I mean, he'll make a list, but he won't make the list. Like if he averages like two points a game, he's gonna be on there. I could see as a Suns fan, I could see Bronny James having more votes than like Devin Booker in the first. Just because, like, Lakers fans are crazy like that. I- I'm not saying that it's deserved, <laughs> but, like, th- it happens every year. But are Lakers fans even happy that he's there? Oh, that, I mean, I would say it's, like, 50-50, but I think it's not even Lakers fans. I think it's just LeBron fans that are, you know. LeBron fans. Yeah. And just people. I'll vote for him. But but people looking for a I think it's Lakers combined with LeBron fans is going to push him to, like, or spin not even zone. Is it LeBron and Laker haters voting for Bronny to get in the All Star game to perpetuate a bigger cycle of hatred on Bronny and LeBron? Mm, it's <laughs> just like ESPN. Yeah, I feel like there's more there's more people that like him than hate him though. Realistically, I, Bronny hasn't done anything for you to not like him, other than just, he just plays back. I, I think there's a lot of haters in public, but in in silence they they are supporters. Yeah, I, I mean, Closeted I guess the Bronx one thing that Thanks. people would argue that like is like Bronny took a guarantee or like a draft he, spot away from he someone did, who yeah. deserved it more. Yeah, that that late fifties pick. I mean, what they really said, get you. He signed what like a four four year something? No, yeah, yeah, a fully guaranteed. That's insane. Roster that's spot. insane to me. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's insane to me. But you know what? He's gonna make the All Star vote, so yeah, maybe he deserves it. What if he sneaks in? It's like alternate, nah, there's alternate no level. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Because it's what fifty percent. No. What, what's the percentages for the voting? Yeah. Well, f- the the fan vote is just the starters. So get him in the skills. He competition. would have to be voted in as a starter, which would be hilarious. Ronnie like, James versus Caitlin Clark three point contest. Oh my um, God! <laughs> no, <laughs> please no. I don't think Bronny James would sign on for something like that. You think you could beat Bronny James in a three point shooting contest? No, but at mm-hmm. the very at the very least, you guys think he's gonna make the Rising Stars game with no with like hell no. 0.5 points per game. Hell no! You think it's too no. big of an opportunity to no? Because where's the All Star game? I think the coaches select that. I don't know where they San Francisco. Game is. San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. Nah, he ain't making it. Yeah, if he was in LA, he would make it. Um. All right, the next year he'll make. Well, it. I, I'm keeping my hot take in LA. My okay. hot take is. The Clippers are going are going to Blake Griffin, Kawhi Leonard this season. Whoa. Because mm. we're at a point, like, one, we've just seen it before. Like, Kawhi signed that big extension last season. Blake Griffin, back in, what was it, 2017? 20- 17. 17, signed his big, last big extension with the Clippers about four months before he was en- ended up getting traded to the Pistons. And... It's like, the, it's different because the Clippers don't have possession of their draft equity at this point. Their next available first round pick is in 2030, but it's so pushed out <laughs> that I'm like, the, yeah, yeah, their next available first round pick is in 2030 and they have no even second round picks. Yeah, okay. They do have pick swaps. How did that happen? Yeah, how did that happen? Is that James Harden? Yeah, that's a oh combination God. of the, um, Paul, the Paul George, George getting trade, <laughs> getting pushed down the line, still getting them, and then like a couple other trades throughout the years as well. Um, but then the James Harden was like another big one. So they have no pick Tough. equity at all. They don't really have any young players. I mean, you can say Kevin Porter Jr. still, th- there might be still a little juice to squeeze mm, out of that orange. Oh no. uh, Bones Highland, I don't know if either one of you guys They don't even play him. Bones Highland. Guys. I like Bones Highland. 
But um, I, I, I'm looking at it in a place. The tough thing is Kawhi Leonard makes, I think, $49 million Ooh, next year. Goodness. For 40 games. So yeah, that's, that's not, not like that's not a good deal. I mean, that's obviously not an easy thing to trade for. But I've identified two teams okay. as teams that I think like would realistically be like good fits for him. The first team, and you guys might scoff at this, is the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks do not have ownership of their first round pick next year. Um, they have a lot of money that is just kind of dead, and they have. A good amount of like picks that aren't theirs. They have the Lakers pick for next year. They have um, a, a couple like other random picks going down as well as their own. So they could do like a Clint Capella, oh, DeAndre oh. Hunter, and um, <laughs> J- uh, Jalen Johnson. Mm-hmm. Um, thing. Seen him at the mall one time. How old is Clint Capella now? He's old, but he's on <laughs> an expiring deal. Okay, don't worry. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, but what would that leave the Hawks with? Trey Young and Kawhi Leonard. Trey Young, Ka- Kawhi Leonard, Onyeka. their first overall pick, Zachary, oh, Zachary Reese, Reese say. Yes, yep. Um, who I know you love, Johnny. I think me and him might be as good as each other. He's just taller than me. Um, the other team that I've identified and I think is a, a lot better of a fit for Kawhi Leonard is the Houston Rockets. They have picks. Dylan um, Brooks upgrade. Fred Van Vliet makes $42 million. Oh my Next year, gosh. that's um, like if you're in the NBA and is on <laughs> me, <laughs> and he's on a, a shorter contract than Kawhi Leonard, and they also have some of their own picks to play with, as well as the Phoenix Suns' future picks that they acquired from Brooklyn. So um, I just think there's like some stuff that you could like, and then throw in you know a, whatever young piece you want to get rid of if you don't want to pay Jalen Green. I think. That I think makes the, sense for both sides a little bit. I think bit. the Rockets, or the, I think the Clippers would want Thompson back, I would assume. Yeah, and I would maybe I'd consider do doing that. Do um, because if it goes bad, you're not really like... And the Rockets are more competitive than they seem. Yeah, yeah, already. absolutely. You're not too in the hole, but I think it is kind of time to like go all in before you have to pay all of these guys. Yeah. Is there best player in Van Vliet? It's just Shingun. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. But um, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Clippers are going to Blake Griffin, Kawhi Leonard. That is my hot take, and I will throw it back to you, Johnny. I can actually, I can get on board with that. Right? Yeah, I can get on board with that because it's like you, you already showed you can't get it done with Paul. Now you don't have him. So now what? Also, yeah. there's like some sneaky fit things with the Rockets. We can't get too tricked by their late season push that like Jalen Green. And Alper and Shangun didn't play together during. I just feel like Kawhi Leonard went healthy. He's very good. Oh yeah, he is very. But is good. he still very good? Because that was a little bit ago. Well, what Blake Griffin was good for what, like one more season, and then he. But like, if Kawhi gets injured again next yeah, season, no, where's his value at? Yeah, like, you're right. You gotta capitalize on it now while yeah. it's still there. Even though maybe you look stupid in the long run, at you least can you rebuild tried. something. Yeah. The Clippers might as well just start. Rebuilding. Yeah, new stadium, new ownership. <laughs> they might, might as well just well restart. New well uniforms. Just restart. All right, so my second take on this list here, and this goes kind of hand in hand with the one I didn't want to spoil. Okay. The 76ers will not be a top four seed in the East. And the only, there's two major reasons why I say it is health, Joel Embiid, not a great track record, and Paul George, not a great track record for health. But I think the biggest problem is there's, they're going to have ball issues. Mm. Tyrese mm. should have the ball as much as possible. He's a blossoming star. He's the fastest of them. He's the least amount of injuries. And Embiid, as we've seen on Team USA, is not great with other good players on his team. And so now they just added another good player who thinks he's the best player out of the three. So Paul George ego, even though you know he might be a guy who says he doesn't have an ego. Um, and Joel Embiid's like, I'm the best player in the world syndrome. When the guy who should have the ball is the third best guy is Tyrese Maxey. So I think that combination of people and factors, they're going to be a very disappointing team. And I also wouldn't even be surprised if they 
This is a hot take. If they try to get off Joel Embiid within the next two years. Whoa. Whoa. I thought you were going to say lost in the first round, and I would be like, okay. No, that's not a hot take. That's the normal Damn, thing. you think Joel Embiid could be out the door in the next two years. See, but is there enough yeah. good players for Joel Embiid to not be good, though? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he just does, sometimes he just doesn't play. I mean, he shoots. He, he thinks he's the best player in the world, and it's he could be, but not shooting 19 free throws a game, you're not. Who, who fills out that starting five? It's Maxi, it's Maxie, Paul, Joel, uh, Caleb Martin. Whoa, Caleb Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's why I get a little bit nervous. I I like the like sentiment that the Sixers are maybe not like the world beater that they seem like on paper, but they are like low key sneaky deep right now. I don't yeah. care how deep they are. One guy doesn't pass the ball. One guy thinks he's Michael Jordan, and one guy should have the ball. But Joel Embiid is like. 40, like, you win 40 games with him yeah, just playing half the season. I agree, yeah. Not if you throw in Paul George. You think that about Kawhi Leonard, too. About, you win 40 already with Kawhi. Ah, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a 76er guy. I love Tyrese Maxey. <laughs> but the other two, I'm not huge on, and them together, that's, that's going to stunt Tyrese's growth. Paul George does win regular season games, though. I'm not a Paul George guy. He, he's too busy Cert- trying to look cool. Certified Paul George hater. Absolutely. Clippers won 51 He's got games great shoes, though. Those I think he's smooth. He's a smooth player. He's yeah, nice. he's a smooth player. That's the whole problem. Play hard. He's a, he's kind of clutch now. They have he's two guys who don't play hard at all <laughs> as their two best players. All right. I'm thinking this is a real take. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's keep it moving. Um, <laughs> Travis? All right. All right. My second take is that I believe that somebody will break 80 points this season. Woo! Damn. You know, the NBA, the pace is not necessarily getting faster. What but did Dame get? I think like he's 73. I think? No, that was Luca. Luca was 73 was, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was two guys with 70 points Donovan last year. Donovan Mitchell got 72. Um, was Joel that? Embiid got 70. Yeah. The overstage um, cat. Yeah. And then there was like, I think there was like seven games with like 60 plus yeah. last year. So the pace isn't necessarily getting faster, but the, the points per game. Is getting quicker. There's more free throws. There's more three pointers. Uh, less defense. Yeah, less defense. I think that somebody is just gonna do it. Yeah, call, it just has shot. to be like the perfect like recipe of like it's a random close game. Because even overtime, even, overtime, even seventy-three maybe. points seems like ridiculous. Yeah. Give me top three guys who you think could do it. Probably. Let's go, Luca. Luke is with, definitely one with Kyrie. I think so. He he's just gonna. How many shots does he, he take? He doesn't a game? defer to yeah. Kyrie like in, in that way. Let's see who who else who else could. Who I mean, could do I, in my mind, Joel Embiid is like free throws, the yeah. prototypical yeah. because like if Joel Embiid happens to be like on fire from three in any given game, he's gonna drop fifty. Yeah, and the good thing about Easily. that is if he is on fire from three, teams will continue letting him to shoot threes. Because yeah, they're like, I don't want to give up dunks and and ones. You know what's crazy? Jalen Brunson scored sixty points last last yeah, year. That is crazy. Like that's insane. Being my height, role player. 60. He thinks he's a role player. He's a supercharged. <laughs> he's a supercharged six man. Is what he is. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> that's not a, that's not a hot take at all. If you gave the ball to Lou Williams and Jordan Clarkson twenty eight times to shoot a game, he would. They would also average twenty. See, and that's yeah, but you would guaranteed lose that game because no nobody else on the team plays defense. They're a team full of defensive guys with one guy who's able to just chuck shots. And that's the reason why I think it's like Allen Iverson built. We're breaking same 80. as the Sixers because it is kind of Allen Iverson. Even built. Cat, even Cat scored what sixty something last year. Yeah, the same which is like Joel went off. Yeah, poor guy, <laughs> poor guy, man. That's that's sad. But yes, that is my second take. Okay, I love that one. Um, okay, my second take. The Indiana Pacers are going to be the one seed in the East next year. Top 25, Tyrese Halliburton, baby. Top 25, Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, first off, off, (laughs) hear me out. Hear me out on this. Go Pacers, go Magic, baby. The Pacers, we were going going into Tyrese Halliburton's injury, Mm -hmm. they were 21 and 15. And I think their roster at full year Siakam. Yeah, that was before they traded for Siakam, and it was in a place where they just like weren't super cohesive. They have an amazing coach in Rick Carlisle, and once Siakam came in, their defensive floor just like shot up. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't even have to be great because of how good 
their offense is, especially in the regular season. It's not like something that you can scheme for super easily. In games against Boston, Cleveland, Miami, Milwaukee, and New York last year, they were 14-9. and nine. That wow. is pretty damn good in that the regular good. season. In games against Dallas, Denver, the Clippers, Minnesota, Oklahoma City, and Phoenix, they were 6-6. Six and six. That is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good split. Um, and they play the Bulls. <laughs> yeah. I think the East, the bottom of the East is going to be worse this year. I think they're just like markedly better. Jairus Walker didn't really have much of a role last year. Um, and they're just like superstars need time together. We've seen that time and time again. I think that is a great reason why superstar Tyrese be- Halliburton. <laughs> skeptical <laughs> even if you can throw out the word superstar high usage players right, okay. that are expecting yeah. uh-huh. a shit ton of like minutes and shots need time to figure it out i mean even the big three heat didn't work at the yeah. beginning you know I, i'm cu- i'm curious how tyree salaburn will come out next season because he didn't play yeah he didn't well <laughs> not that he didn't play i feel like Maybe his confidence isn't as high as it should be. Like he kind of got little broed by the whole team. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of curious. I, I felt like when he was on the court, he looked great. I mean, that's how he plays, though. I feel like uh, he's yeah. like <laughs> that the fake little no look passes. He, we seen the block, <laughs> little bro. <laughs> but um, I mean, yeah, that's my take. I I just think the first place, first place, first place. Wow, first place. Also, another stat that I was looking at. Do you guys know the last team? to get the first seed in their conference in back-to-back years? No. It was the Bucks in 18, 19, 19, 20. Okay. It's not something that happens, like, all the time. So, like... Oh, so you're... Okay. The so. obvious thing would be the Celtics are going to take the first seed again. Celtics are stacked. I think the Celtics have a much better chance to repeat than really any of the last couple of champions. Free, free Peyton Pritchard. But... Center of the Warriors. I think Chris Hapsporzingis is going to be a thing i think there's just like a whole disease of more thing with the celtics that might injuries fuck them over yeah injuries they you, were you guys you guys healthy. see Derek white getting the fight yeah, they, yeah the guy hit his hat off that's crazy that's so rude Derek, out of all people though Derek white yeah. and people <laughs> don't think about how big nba oh, players yeah he's like oh, really six, six. are yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and all like super athletic like he guards the best athletes in the world and he served our country <laughs> They got they got two nice guys at guard. They got Drew Holiday and uh, and they're just defensive and white. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I will. That's my second take. First I will throw it first crazy. place in the East. Bucks denier. He might I will throw it. I mean, over. He might think the Magic are gonna. He might maybe if yeah, he, if not. that's the one. They'll be top four. So my third take on the list here is. At the deadline or before the deadline, the Warriors are going to blow it up. Mm. What does that mean? So, and I knew you were going to ask that because <laughs> I even put in parentheses, blow it up, meaning Draymond, Wiggins, and Looney will all be gone at the deadline. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Steph, but it's easier to offload those three guys rather than find a spot for Steph and not have the fans like pillage the whole stadium. In this scenario, what are they looking to acquire? Um, I think in that scenario, they try to, because they've made it pretty clear that they want to keep Kaminga and Pods. Uh, so building around a Kaminga Pods duo, I would assume they, and they have Tra- Trace Jackson Davis, who's their center right now, but he's not very big, but he is decent for his role, but he's Bouncy. not a starting center for a championship team role guy. I, and you're going to love this. You're going to send Draymond home. For all of the stuff he's did for you. So he's going to Detroit. Okay. <laughs> Which means Jalen Dern is coming to the Bay Area, baby. Oh, wow. no, there's no way to get. I wow. thought there's no way well, to get. Well, it would have to be him, and they would probably throw in Moody because I don't know why they don't like Moses Moody, but they don't play him like they should. He's, one, he's really good. One but. take that I unleashed last episode that I didn't include here is I think the Pistons are going to be a playing team next year. Hey, they might um, be the best in the NBA. And this would, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> that would, uh, a Draymond Green acquisition would definitely yeah, help out there. Because he is immediate help. He's fran- like locker room leader, even though you might hate him. He's He is good at leading people. Um, and I think the Warriors obviously need to get young because they are old. Well, they are. They were old, and then they signed more old people this year. They got Kyle Anderson, Buddy Hield. Um, 
That I don't know why they did that. Anthony Melton's body is old. He looks like a small Will Chamberlain as well. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think they blow it up. I and there's already talks of them like, oh, should we somehow get Steph and LeBron on a team together? Well, you can't do that unless you blow it up. Yeah. Like Man. you're gonna have to get rid of either a bunch of young pieces to get an old guy, or get a bunch a rid of a bunch of old guys to get some young guys. I think Steph Curry retires as a warrior. That's my. I don't think that anything yeah, would. That's why I think they'd get rid of everybody else. And Draymond already, my boy Jordan Poole, <laughs> they almost got Draymond out of there for that. And now it's they already got rid of Clay, and so it's like, where do you draw the line? It's not a Draymond Green, I'll tell you that. No. No, I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, I think I would love to see Draymond in a uh, in a new scenario. Bad boy Pistons. One Isn't million. Isn't that guy just look like a New York Nick? Oh my gosh! Well, because that guy just seems like a Nick Tibbs right now. is like salivating at that idea. Like Super Taj Gibson, fake uh, Brandon Bass, <laughs> fake Brandon Bass, Draymond Green. You heard it here first. Travis <laughs> Fukumoto at Triggity Trav on Instagram. <laughs> Travis, hit us with your third hot take. All right, my third hot take is that. Wemby will finish top five MVP voting, and the Spurs will be the eighth seed in the West. Wow, I'm I would so say glad Victor you would be the MVP. This. I might say he's the MVP. MVP. Okay, well, what what seed did you say the Spurs were gonna get? Eight. Eight. Okay. Which is pretty Play. high. I think they're projected to be like what, like thirteenth or something, like one of the yeah, worst teams. They should suck. Yeah, but whoa, 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 they got Chris Paul. Though. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. So with the acquisition of Chris Paul, I think every team that he's been on, even though he's old now, has gotten better. Maybe. I don't think the Warriors were the right fit for him, but I think a, a team where he's the guy, like he knows he's the guy, like he's going to average easily like So that means they're going to have to assists. jump five of the Thunder, Nuggets, Timberwolves, Clippers, Mavs, Suns, Lakers, Pelicans, Kings, Warriors, Rockets, Jazz, Grizzlies. I think they can do it. I think Wemby's numbers are going to be too good for, uh, for the NBA He'll, He's probably going to be like 28 and 14 in like two or three blocks. But I think, I think for reference, I think LeBron finished – Sixth mm -hmm. in his second year. Well, he's also going to get media propelled. But as well. I, th I think Wemby's numbers are going to be way better than LeBron's. So he might even finish like. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't even. I would be like, yeah, if, Le if Wemby won the MVP, I'd be like, eh. I mean, I'm very on the record of saying, like, I think today Wemby is the best defensive player hmm. in the, in all of the NBA. Yeah, Mobile Rudy. Rudy um like engaged deandre Ayton. he's <laughs> he's very much deandre Ayton is engaged yeah i, I wish <laughs> um uh, no he's not engaged he's, he's, getting married? he's having he's having troubles on on that front um his baby mama's upset with him but uh we won't we won't dive into that right now um okay spurs eight seed. yeah but the, the reason why i don't think that he gets any higher in the mvp race is because their record will not be yeah not be good enough yeah that well, would be pretty as the eight seed. As the eight seed, even still the eight seed, I feel like you got like Shea, who's probably going to be like one seed. Yeah, one and Jokic, obviously. Yeah, the thing with the offensive numbers, it's like there's just no universe he'll have offensive Deep Boy, numbers. Deep Boy, definitely. Like I'm putting my money, <laughs> my plus odds. I give it to LeBron. I really think Don't though, if Chris Paul stays healthy, they they will be good. They'll be solid. Well, this flows perfectly into my take. And my my last hot take is this will be Greg Popovich's last year oh, coaching the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah. Coaching um, the Spurs. Yeah. I he, oh. hey, he could maybe go somewhere else. I don't know. Um, Ooh, wow. um no, that is not really an element of the take. I just think that especially post Olympics, there's a lot of like hype around the Spurs right now. Mm. And Hype equals coaching instability, and I just, I'm actually on the opposite side of you, Travis, on, on this Spurs team. It? Like, yeah, Chris I, Paul and the Suns. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. I just, like, I love Chris Paul, and Chris Paul did do a lot of good things for the Golden State's bench a year ago, but he was playing 26 minutes a game and could still not survive for an entire year because of his hand. I think, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. like, yeah, you've got Trey Jones, you've got um, Stephon Castle. I think Stephon Castle, like, will, like, if we're just, like, considering how rookies are in the NBA, I think he'll probably not be very good. Yeah, that's um, true. And then I'm still just... I don't know. There's going to be a lot of Jeremy Sohan. There's going to be a lot of Zach Collins. There is going, and it's just 
It's Kel- tough. Keldon Johnson denier. Oh, Keldon, Keldon Johnson. Johnson I am a Keldon Johnson denier. Um, what what have wow. you done for me, Keldon Johnson? He propelled my Keldon fantasy Johnson team. Pro truther. Propelled my fantasy team to a, a playoff spot. Good stats, bad team guy. <laughs> Good stats, bad team guy. But I and it's just it's even more just like the West is that is a true. complete monster. Like if the Clippers don't move off Kawhi Leonard, I think they're better than the Spurs. I think pretty much all these teams above them, even the Warriors, like Warriors aren't great, but like who am I taking in a seven game series? The Spurs or the Warriors? I'm taking the Warriors. And the Warriors had the season from hell last year. I think they have a better roster today. Um, like what what are you missing in a Buddy Heald Clay Thompson trade off? Mm. Buddy Heald might be better than Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson sucked last year. True. Um yeah, it did. You got Kyle Anderson. He was playing playoff minutes. He's okay. De'Anthony Melton, okay. We'll probably get injured. But I just I don't <laughs> see them being worse than the Spurs. I don't see the Rockets being worse than the Spurs. Definitely don't see the Grizzlies being worse than the Spurs. The Jazz? Like, Jazz, I, I the think jazz. the Spurs would probably be yes. better than, but, like, are they going to sweep them in the season series? Who does the Jazz even have? They got Lowry. They still got Jordan Clarkson. They Man, got, they're bad. Colin Sexton. Um, Colin Sexton. Oh. They're gonna suck. They don't have THT. I'll tell you that. No, he was he was good for them. Yeah, he, good Keontae George. Yeah. Was. Oh, yeah, Keontae George. Keontae George. Keontae George. I like. Yeah. Um, maybe Taylor Hendricks is something. What's the <laughs> maybe? What's the Mormon uh, Duke? Oh, Philipowski. Philipowski. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> um, the. The Trailblazers Frank also Kaminsky. have like a, a number of. They got a lot of guards. Players. They got a lot of guards. They, they have a lot of guards and centers. Um. But I, I, yeah, I just, and and I think after all of that, after all the expectations and people wanting to see Wemby be a real thing, I think they gave Pop his Kobe contract Mm. last offseason, and this is just his last um, thing. You think this is the last year? This is the last year. Do you think he, you think he tank, they're tanking though, or do you think they're just going to be bad? No, I think they're going to try. They're going to try. They have to get LeBron. No, I would way. love that. Well, there's no way LeBron goes to San Antonio. What if they make him player coach? They, they make the LeBron rules. go to them. To play with Chris insane. Paul and Wemby. But that means they got to bring Ronnie. That's true. He, he does. LeBron's like to come to town. keep him away from me. <laughs> a Ronnie, a Ronnie Wemby duo. That would be awesome. Media. Um, be great yeah, for oh Texas. my gosh. Yes. That would be a great Brian Netflix Windhorst doc. Brian Windhorst would be so excited. Um, so let's recap. We'll just just recap your uh, three, and um, we'll vote on which one we think is fake. All right, guys, ready? This is for Instagram. My three takes: I got the Orlando Magic as the top three seed in the in the East, at fifty five or more wins. I got the Philadelphia 76ers being disappointments, being out of the top four seeds in the East, and I got the Golden State Warriors blowing it up at the deadline. Oh, those are all. I I I just don't believe that Johnny believes that the Orlando Magic. I was are thinking that be a too for team. That's my vote. I'm locking it in. I'm voting for the Warriors one. So I don't. You, you I, think the Magic is the fake one? I think, think the Magic. I, is I the think fake I one. think the Warriors will be just good enough where they can't blow it up. That's and I think that's what you think. That is the fake one. That's not why I think it. I think Steph won't let them trade Draymond. Really? Uh, oh, okay. So, you so the Warriors Clay. take was the fake take that's for Johnny. That's the fake take. I okay. love the Magic. I hey. love the Magic. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I'm a Paolo Banchero It's tough, guy. man. I just, I, I, I see the vision. I just, I don't know. It's they, tough they to believe shoot. in a young team that can't shoot. Paolo yeah. sweats too much. He does sweat he a does lot. He does sweat a lot. And he, but, he's, but he, has he the still new hair, hasn't. So. Oh, maybe he, that's why no sweat. Yeah. Doesn't he lose like an insane amount of like, like eight pounds? Or yeah, like, really? He thinks yeah, he's an F one driver. At Duke, yeah. at Duke, they had to like put him on like a special hydration thing because he loses too much weight per game. Jesus. Um, Travis. Yes. Recap your takes for us, please. All right. So I'm I looking to a camera. <laughs> this is for Instagram. All right. I had Bronny James making the All Star, the first All Star vote, fan vote. Mm-hmm. My second one was somebody will score eighty points this season. And my third take was Wemby is going to be top five in MVP voting, and the Spurs are going to finish eighth in the West. Hmm. 
Spurs won. <laughs> I feel like Travis does believe somebody will get that many points. Will it be this year? I don't know. So I'm going to go with the Bronny James one. I think you believe that not enough people like Bronny. The Bronny one just makes sense for me. It makes sense. That's why I think Travis is saying it's not going to be real. Yeah, I, I'm voting the Spurs one. Bronny. Jokes on you guys. I don't think someone will score 80 points this season. Ah, I just don't I just don't I think it. I don't think <laughs> it's tough. I mean, obviously only one like, person like it's a lot. Has done it since Wilt. Like 73 Hot is take. already a lot. He didn't do it. Kobe? Wilt. Oh, <laughs> fake game. No, he definitely scored 80. I'm just, I'm also just curious. I think Wemby might be so good that he's just like he just proposed It's definitely like a, in the the realm of possibility. And I 100% think Bronny is going to be somewhere on that list. He's got to be somewhere on that list. I mean, if Clay Thompson could have did it last year, then Bronny can do it. But, yeah, see, I didn't think you believe someone could do 80 this year. Someone might maybe, be able to do 80 eventually. Yeah, maybe, maybe eventually, yes. Um, okay, my three takes were, one, the Clippers are going to Blake Griffin, Kawhi Leonard. Two, the Pacers are going to be the number one seed in the East. And three, this will be Greg Popovich's last year coaching in San Antonio. I don't think you believe in the Indiana Pacers like that. Hmm. AJ I, got the Indiana Pacers shorts on. I think it's the, the Popovich one. I think he Popovich is gonna be too hard to fire or too hard to let go. I think he might go for like another like I don't know. Were you about like, to say six years? Not six years. Like <laughs> maybe like three years. Just see like because give Wemby like a couple years and I think he might be they might be a good team. My fake take is I do not believe the Indiana Pacers will be the number yeah, okay, one. That, seed. Yeah, that, that yeah, Patrick's sense. a defense guy. Yeah, no, I just uh, yeah, I, I don't believe in their big men. I I think they're they're gonna be good, but um I, I also just believe in the Celtics. They're oh too freaking low. Yeah. They're they're so good. If any team is going to be one that repeats back to back one seats, it's the Boston Celtics. I mean they didn't lose any did they lose anybody? Um the just, Celtics no. I mean they don't the have rift between Jason Porzingis. Tatum and Jalen Brown. <laughs> okay, we are going to do a scorchingly fast yes. um fast food draft. Yep. And then we will uh we will finish it out here. Um let's just um let's just go down the line. Johnny will give you the first pick in the fast food draft. We're drafting our starting fives. I think we know what number one is. Right? Johnny, All right, I'm taking Kane's number Whoa! one. Whoa! Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. That was like a Bill Simmons, whoa, Anthony <laughs> Bennett moment. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Well, the, 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 the thing I like about Kings is you know what you're going to get there. Like, you yeah. know, you're going to make a good yeah. choice. Yeah. No, you I'm don't. a consistency guy. Wait, so I thought we were all going, oh, so I, it's my pick now. Yes, it is your pick now. I'm going to go with McDonald's. I feel like that's just like the number one, the classic. Like, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Like, when you don't yeah, know what you want to eat, you go, I think I'm just going to get McDonald's. And there's yeah. always one like five minutes away from me. I'm so with you. I had McDonald's this morning. <laughs> breakfast. Um, great breakfast. Great breakfast. You can eat it. Great dessert. Great french fries. Yeah. What's great your order? Dessert. I get for, for McDonald's. Uh, I get a double cheeseburger, six piece nuggets, and medium fries. There Jesus Christ. Feast. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going with Taco Bell. Um, Ooh. <laughs> love a Taco Bell. Doritos Locos Tacos. Okay, yes. Go yes. crazy. Uh, crunch wraps, chalupas. Yeah. I mean, I'm a happy, happy camper. I, I own multiple pieces of Kane's apparel. <laughs> that is true. He does. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we are doing a snake draft. Okay. So it is all. it is my turn once again. And I will go with... Uh, I'll go with Sonic. Give me Sonic. Really? The Sonic Smasher. Yeah, I mean, really? they got the Sonic Smasher. I, I love Sonic. Sonic is like the Arizona in, in me. There's Sonics all over the place. There's nothing better than like a nice slush or uh, yeah, their, what their, drink drinks, their drinks are good. I, you know, I probably a cherry limeade slush, yeah, um, but nice. also like the Powerade slushes I like a lot too. Their drinks are good, but their food is a little suspect. I like yeah. their popcorn chicken. Yeah. Yeah, popcorn chicken's good. Yeah. Um, all right, Travis, it is your pick. I think this one might be a little less known. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to go with Potato Corner. Pota it's I've a French fry place in the mall. It is a French <laughs> fry place. If you ever go to a mall, look for a Potato Corner, and you will have the best French fries you'll ever have in your life. Wow. And you get it with on a side of uh, chicken. Like you tennis. can get a, a, like pretty much any flavor. Yeah. It's amazing. You guys got to try it. Cinnamon yeah, fries? I would love pretty, to Pretty, yeah. It'll shoot up draft boards. It's, un <laughs> it's unknown right now. <laughs> wow. This, it's, it's like, like Scotty Pippen. <laughs> 
All right. I'm surprised it's still here. Uh, Chick fil A. Oh, Chick fil A Chick fil A is a good one. I feel I feel like Chick fil A is good, but I'm like, is it the best thing I've ever had? Like, no, but it is solid. Yeah, and the fries when they're hot, so good. Two chicken places. Uh, you got the are... snake here, Johnny. So you got another. And we're getting chicken. five. Yeah, we're getting. All five. right. So my third pick. Um, a lot of hate, but back in their day, fire, Chipotle. There you go. There you go. Chipotle is just expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> Inflation. All these places are much Inflation. more expensive than they used to be. And they give you. They got more expensive than they're giving you less. Yes, but when they're hitting, they're hitting. That's like, good for me though. I need I, I need less. Yeah, a trip to the bathroom after too. Yeah. Um, Travis, what all right. You got? This is very typical for me. I'm gonna go with Jollibee. Wow, Jollibee this guy wasn't on my. Jollibee board. is amazing. If you have not had it, fried chicken with uh, some gravy. Oh, bro, and you get rice. You get rice at a fast food place, mm -hmm. and it's pretty good. Um, that I mean. I'm sure a certain segment of our audience will be very Hell yeah. happy that you the Warrior fans. Take that all the Warrior fans <laughs> out there. Give me we're we're based in Los Angeles. Oh. Give me In and Out. Oh yeah. Okay. Um there's a lot of hate there's for In and Out. That wasn't um, even on my list. And you don't you don't like it. But definitely not like like their fries aren't amazing, but I think their burgers are amazing. Like they're juicy, they're yes. fresh. Yeah, like, we're on the opposite end of In and Out right now. So their fries with the shake is so good. But the fries soggy, yeah. you might as well just get animal style fries because it's already soggy. That's why you got to get true. well done with a shake and use them as like Sometimes a little Sometimes the well done's a little too crunchy. Not if you put them in a milkshake. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> I like guess. the well done. I had never guess. heard of the well done before I met you lot. And <laughs> you, I don't know. I don't think I'll animals. ever get it. <laughs> um, all right, Travis. Oh, wait, no, no I, got yeah. I got one more. I got one more. four. Um, give me, I feel like I need a chicken place. So give yeah, me, good luck, buddy. I took both of them. Give me Popeye's. That's oh. a good one too. I'm happy with Popeye's. Their wings are crazy good for They're a crazy fast wings. food wing. They are so good. Yes. Um, and just like, you know, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. <laughs> mac yeah. and cheese. She doesn't love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I got Popeye's. You know, I am glad that you didn't steal mine because I am going with Wingstop. Oh, good one. Ooh, Wingstop is amazing. The best ah. ranch you've ever had in your life. Yes. And so many flavors. That is true. Way better than Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Talk about good that. fries. Yes. That's Wingstop. Got to get bone in, too. Bone in, bone in with uh, extra seasoning. All flats. All flats. I didn't even think all of Wingstop. I, I, don't wanna, I actually don't want to pay that extra dollar, so I don't get all flats. So, is there $2? But what about two. like a drum? You can just look. I do. Yeah. I've never eaten a drum like that. You can do that with a flat. You you break the small bone out and then you just. There's yeah, too much there's, there's prep. There's too yeah. much cartilage. I feel like on the drum. Like, there's too much stuff going on. All right. So mine next one. I'm a sucker for some sweets. Give me Dairy Queen. Oh, it was on my board. Yeah. Give me Dairy board. Queen, baby. A Blizzard? Are you kidding me? I feel yeah. like Dairy Queen is also another place where they got good sweets, but sus With food. chicken strips? Sheesh. I feel like the food is much more sus at Dairy Queen yeah, than like, at Sonic. Like, they, they definitely... I like, only get the chicken strips, so like, I don't they know. Might, they might throw their food in a microwave. That's fine with me. <laughs> okay. I'm there for the, for the Blizzard. <laughs> That's true. Um, and you turn it upside down. Do you have one more pick? Oh, yeah. I got one more pick. Uh, give me Panda <laughs> Express. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Pan Express, Pan Express also, in the fifth round. I feel like it also hit or miss for me. Sometimes yeah. it's good, sometimes it's bad. Pan right? Express uh, can in, be very bad. Pan Express when you're in Kansas, let me tell you. Oh, God. That hits. <laughs> oh, that I, hits. yeah, actually, yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does. All right. With my last pick, I'm going so Asian here, guys. <laughs> I've never heard of that place. That's okay. I'm going, I'm going with Waba Grill. Waba Grill is amazing. I think. You, you, you love Wabba. I've never met a person that loves when Wabba. When you want it, like, you here. know when you feel like you've been eating too much, like, fried food? You, like, you just yeah, want something a little healthy. It's, like, like a, not really healthy, they but you have great healthy. rice there. And the secret is Boom Boom Sauce. The Boom Boom Way. Boom Boom Sauce. It is amazing. Um, yeah, the Boom Boom Sauce is good. Um, okay. We're going Asian Fusion in the last round, guys. Last Next te our text mix. I, I, I can't. Hmm. You this know what? I will matters. go with the what, the great thing about growing up in Arizona is like all the fast food places get together and retire in Arizona. So really? we got like everything, people. just like people. Yeah. Uh, so we got everything. So I've tried I've tried most of like the iconic burger places. Okay. And I love Whataburger. It's a great burger. Um, love the Hatch chilies. Love the breakfast. Um, give me Whataburger with my last one. 
Uh, I hope in and out and Whataburger might have some trouble in the locker room. They might be a little bit. But you know what I got from that is that you ranked in and out burger higher than Whataburger. Than Whataburger. Uh, you know, I th- it was also Value like a availability thing. I was worried <laughs> that uh, it might not last on the. Uh, he reached for In and Out. Yeah, did. I reached for In and Out. He didn't reach for Waterburger. No, he did not. In and Out was the the Bronny James of my draft class. You know, there's there's a place that I didn't pick, but I'm a huge fast food guy. Obviously, I don't cook, um, but I'm a huge fast obviously. food guy. Yeah, obviously. I totally forgot about Carl's Jr. until right now. No, Carl's Jr. is too Carl's expensive. Jr. Sucks. It's so good. It's too expensive. Carl's Chicken Jr. stars is bad. Double Western bacon just cheeseburger, no cheese, that Oreo I shake. Carl's I wouldn't Jr. say it's bad. Terrible. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just expensive. And it's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. I, expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. I would say it's bad and like, expensive. You're, you're, you're basically eating at a sit-down restaurant for that Freddy's? For price. I don't know. Yeah, me. they don't know about Freddy's. Freddy's Freddy. smash burger, no, put a little mustard either. on there, a little custard. Shake okay, Shack overrated. let's go down the line and recap <laughs> our draft classes. Yes. I got, with the 101, Raising Cane's, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Dairy Queen, and Panda Express. Nice. I can't believe this fell to me. I got McDonald's, Potato Corner, Jollibee, Wob- Did I? Well, no, what was my fourth? Wingstop. Wingstop and Wobba Grill. And I got Taco Bell, Sonic, In N Out, Popeyes, and Whataburger. Whataburger. That's pretty good. Man. I feel pretty good about it, especially being you, in. Hey, the they place. gotta play the song for whenever you name yours. Oh. Well, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on Foul Trouble today. It was a pleasure. We had a lot of fun. That's all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for watching. James will be back next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.